Hey guys, check this. Okay guys, sorry for the bad quality, but my uh, mic gone empty, so I do it like this, this week. Um, last week's video you saw me building a glass fiber fuselage into the mold. Um, they came out very, uh, very nicely, but uh, I do have a full time job and yeah, this is time consuming. So, we came up with the idea to print the entire uh, airplane out of lightweight filament. Um, and I have to thank Colorfrap for uh, helping me out uh, making and printing this uh, model. And as you can see, we, have, we are now done with the fuselage. So in this today's video, we're going to start building electronics inside it. Um, oh man, I'm really excited. It's, this, this stuff is really lightweight. Uh, it has it adhes easily with uh, glass fiber. Uh, but for now we're going to start to build the test hover frame. Um, also a fun fact is that, that this entire model has the same weight as the hover test frame. Uh, it got the weight of uh, 2.8 kilos, there is a big Schubler installed, a 160 amps um, EAC. And in today's video we're going to install from Yeti the Maui 150 to measure current and to see if we have the same numbers as the hover test frame. As always, let's build something. Um, something more about the roll nozzles, the mechanism. As you can see, my latest design, the bearings are cornered 145 degrees. When I put pressure on this bearing system, it wants to go out and it works quite smoothly. Simple design, easy design, and I'm quite happy with it. Okay guys, I installed all electronics, um, I would say let's test it outside for some hops. My friend uh, Lay uh, came over to help me and, to, and uh, let's see what he does.
Okay guys, this was my first quite interesting test with the lightweight PLA frame to take off vertically. Um, according to the Maui from Yeti, I was taking about uh, 100 amps. Um, I set the engine up uh, at to maximum of 70% uh, throttle. Um, so these are quite good numbers. Um, there is still a lot of work because this is our first prototype uh, built in lightweight PLA. Um, I have to design the wings, I have to design the tail, uh, make place for, the, for all servos and electronics. Uh, and I will do all my learnings. Um, but I'm quite happy that we can build this Harrier in just one week. Um, I will also want to take a closer look at the features of the Harrier. Um, I made a little primitive drawing. And um, it's really important also to get all the static inlet thrust as possible. Uh, the Harrier has uh, those open valves on the side of the fuselage during uh, hover. This will open and it will give uh, the engine uh, the capability to breathe more air to gain that static thrust we needed for during hover. Um, yeah, that's about it. So next week, designing the wings. Um, make new designs from for the inlet and um, yeah we'll keep you guys uh, posted but for now I'm really happy with this first results printing in Lightwave A so let me know what you think about these solutions it's uh, really time saving uh, less costly and again I want to thank uh, Colorfab for helping us uh, with this lightweight filament PLA and their support so check out their website and uh, you guys on YouTube. I will see you next time. Okay, bye bye guys.